All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today, we're looking at the Shadal card. Yeah, I know, what? Shadals, but they're kind of gone, right? Like, yeah. So this person decided to go ahead and create a fake Shadal monster and call it possibly Broken Shadal. So we're going to go ahead and review this card and determine whether it is really that broken or not. So this is El Shadal Hyra Dragon Ice. I mean, not really a creative name, it's just... Kind of the word Hydra with dragon and then the word ice, the water. As you see the card art, it's kind of like all of them put together. Like that's Gunnir plus Bronic plus Trisha in this kind of melted morphism way. Like, okay, like I get that, you know, you want to kind of copy those monsters. And I kind of get that Necros kind of did like, oh, all right, we'll put Construct on top of towers. But, you know, like. Gunnir, Trish, Brion, that wasn't that kind of necro thing? Like, wh what is this? <laughs> anyway, this monster is a water level 10 dragon fusion effect monster. 3100 attack, 2600 defense. That's our pretty nice, I must say. It is made with one El Shadal monster plus any number of Shadal monsters. So that's not bad. You know, you obviously pull off plenty of El Shadal monsters when you go ahead and fuse, whether it be window or not construct or not construct or. Shiki nigga. I said Shiki nigga, didn't I? I meant to say Niki. <laughs> uh, oh my god, hello. Uh, Shiki Naga. Uh, there's plenty of uh, Sh El Shadal monsters, but not Construct. And then a number of Shadal monsters. So maybe you'll have like some kind of bonus for using multiple Shadal monsters. So let's go ahead and look at the effect. So this card cannot be fusion summoned. Hmm, okay. This card can only be summoned by banishing the above monsters you control. Wow, so let me get this straight. The deck that's known for using their El Shadal fusions and their Shadal fusions, no, you don't do that. You kind of like contact fuse by banishing your Shadal monsters. They're gone, including your El Shadal monster, which means that it didn't go to the grave, which means that you're not getting your Shadal fusion or El Shadal fusion back. And none of your Shadal monsters are going to the grave, you're not getting any of those effects either. So, mm, and you're banishing them. Banishing them. <sighs> anyway, when this card is special summoned, you may destroy a number of cards on the field or in your opponent's hand equal to the number of Shadal monsters used for this card summon. That's it. No. <laughs> I mean, it, it's pretty powerful if you can pull it off, but, you know, that's, that's pretty slow. Because think about it. I mean, it's not like you're going to be jump it, dropping a whole bunch. You're probably going to, what, Shadal Fusion into, like, a Window or Shikinaga. All right. Then, what, you're going to slowly, like, normal summon Shadal monsters till you can build up enough to drop this guy? Like, it's really slow. It really is slow. Uh, I mean, the hand removal part is pretty powerful, though, you know. But it's just, it's really slow. Really, really slow. And you're not even getting, you know, your usual, oh, God, oh my gosh, Shadals are so good uh, graveyard effects either. Because your cards are getting banished, including your El Shadal monster. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. It just seems like it's just kind of meh, to say the least. And, you know, right now when it's like, oh, yeah, uh, destroying cards in hand is not the greatest right now. Like, w what, you're going to destroy a damage juggler or you're going to destroy, you know, a trick clown or maybe some Cosmo monsters? Like... There's really not a lot of, you know, hand destructioning that you want to do. And I'm assuming that if you destroy monsters in the hand, like Pendulum monsters, I believe they, they should go to the graveyard. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, this is really confusing. Really confusing on how this would work. But I just, I mean, if this was really a card, I'm not even sure that, you know, should also play it maybe one, but... It just doesn't work with the synergy of the Shadal monster, so I don't get why you're like possibly broken when it just doesn't have any synergy with the deck at all. Yeah, you know? uh, the drawbacks of the whole banishing thing is just really not worth it. So I don't, I don't know where you're really going with that, and the fact that it's kind of a contact fusion. Like if it was like straight up just a fusion, or if it was just you know any amount of Shadal monsters plus the L shopping, and you fuse correctly with the fusion cards, then yeah, I could totally see where you're coming from. Like, all right, well, let me go ahead and shit all fusion. Bam, there's, uh, you know, there's a Winda. Then, you know, El Shadal fusion, send Winda, send like four Shadal monsters in my hand, you know, 
drop this guy, go ahead and remove like all the cards in your hand, and all my Shadow Monsters go off, and my uh, window will go off and give me my fusion back, then yeah. But contact fusion being slow, which you can only contact fuse with monsters on the field, and they're going to get banished, and you don't get nothing out of Shadow Monsters, it just doesn't seem worth it. Huh, I don't know. So I wouldn't say this is broken. It just doesn't seem like it has synergy. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. And I said, I'm just not blown away by it. And if this card actually came out, I would not say that this card is the Revival Shaw Monsters. Because Shaw's are just kind of slow without their fusion. We've seen it plenty of times. Whenever you duel against a Shadal deck and they don't get a Shadal fusion or an El Shadal fusion, they're generally just flip monsters. And you already know how slow flip monsters are. So... Where's the, where's the speed? Where's the aggressiveness? And especially without Construct, we really haven't been seeing much of Shadals. Not much at all. So, there's no speed. There's no aggressiveness. There's no, like, oh my god, I'm going to get OTK'd by Shadals. It's kind of like, what? Kind of protect the castle, Winda style, I guess? I don't know. Like I said, I've not seen, not even one. I think I've seen even a couple of Necros decks since I got hit. And, you know, Kleezer, right now, Kleezer starting to go up a little bit in popularity. That one... Uh, deck top to regionals, Mega Capital G kind of hyping it up. So, Cleese are there, but I haven't heard anything. <coughs> uh, excuse me. I haven't heard anything from Shadals. So, I don't know. Like I said, tell me in the comments section below what you guys think about this card. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, we'll be back next Friday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.